Hi, I'm Brandon Lee, and in today's video, I wanna share about how I use Artlist Max every day in my own filmmaking. If you're not familiar with Artlist Max, it's Artlist's all-in-one subscription plan, and I'm gonna give you a bunch of tips about how you can use Artlist faster and more effectively in your own projects. But before we get to that, I'm gonna show you a quick short film that I made with my footage from Istanbul, mixed in with Artlist music and sound effects and stock footage. So sit back, enjoy the video, and then I'll talk more about how I made it. Okay, hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about how I put it together with Artless Max. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the music. Finding the right music is always a challenge for any project. So I'm gonna walk you through how I find music and give you some tips and tricks on how to find just the right tracks. First of all, I start by watching my footage and just asking myself, what mood do I want for this scene? For this Istanbul video, I wanted a music track that was kind of slow, mysterious, but also magical in some way. And it had to build to a climax, not just a constant beat going over and over in a loop. So in our list, I searched for uplifting and mysterious. I didn't enter a genre because that can sometimes be too limiting. All that matters is the feeling. Artlist also has a tempo selection slider here. You may not know how many beats per minute exactly your song should be. So what I do is I resize my edit window so it takes up about half of my screen space. Then on the other half, I open my browser and I find a BPM tempo calculator, just a website. Then as I play my edit, I tap my trackpad to the tempo that feels right. I use my gut feeling for that. Then I take the results from the BPM calculator and I add that to my Artlist search. Then when I'm scrolling through the tracks, I look first at the shape of the waveform. Since I'm looking for a building track here, a track that gets bigger as it goes along, I'm looking for a waveform that fits that shape, basically a wedge getting bigger to the right. Then when I listen to the track, I don't start at the beginning of the song. This isn't Spotify. I just go ahead and click to the loudest part of the track because the climax of the music to me is the most important part. So I just go from one track to the next, clicking on the loudest parts of the waveform, just quickly auditioning all those different tracks. And anytime I find a track that starts to sound good to me, I download it right away. I don't listen to the whole thing. The goal is to get as many potential tracks as possible on my hard drive. Then I drag the whole music folder into my project and I start dropping the clips into my timeline. I like to keep all the possible music tracks on my timeline at the same time so I can quickly compare them because maybe I'll change my mind at some point and I'll want to switch back to some other piece of music that I've used before. The track I ended up using for the assemble video was Cosmic Cascade by Charlie Ryan. I chose it because it has this sort of spacey, magical sound to it, which was what I wanted for the scene. Artlist has an absolutely massive sound effects library. It has almost any sound that you could possibly want, and it can be kind of overwhelming to search through it. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how I find the sounds that I need quickly. 
I start off by using the preset sound categories. When you go to the front page of the sound effects tab, you already see all of these sound effects categories pre-arranged for you. They're arranged basically how you would use them rather than strictly keyworded according to what the sound is. For instance, there's a category called sunny day. So these are all bright, happy sounds with an outdoor feeling to them. So if you're making that kind of a video, like a wedding or a commercial, then you have all the sounds you need right there and you don't need to search by keyword. If I need a really specific type of sound, then I go into the specific keyword searches. For instance, I needed the sound of a call to prayer from a mosque. But not just any call to prayer, not just any mosque. I needed a mosque that was in Istanbul. Artless had multiple versions of the call to prayer recorded at different spots in Istanbul so that I could choose exactly how I wanted it to sound. That's one of the benefits of having a really large sound library. You can get more specific with your searches and find exactly the sound you need instead of just a generic equivalent of it. Artlist also has a ton of stock footage that's included in the Mac subscription. But what's really useful for me about the Artlist footage is that it's arranged into stories. So a story is basically a collection of similar shots that you can cut together and they'll create a seamless scene. And the reason this is really useful is because if you put multiple stock footage shots back to back, it starts to look less like stock footage and more like footage that was shot originally for your film. Whereas if you just drop in one stock footage shot among the rest of your clips, it might stick out. It might obviously look like stock. So let's say you're searching for a shot of the Galata Tower at dusk. So, okay, here I'm searching Galata Dusk. And I see one shot here that I like. All I have to do is click on the little folder and that takes me into the story for that shot. And then inside that story, I can find other similar shots of the Galata Tower taken at different times of day, but they're all done by the same filmmaker. So these shots will cut together without looking like they're coming from different sources. So how much does it all cost? Well, let's do a breakdown here because Artlist has added some more options. You can access just the music and sound effects if you want for $9.99 per month. And this gives you a license for social use, which means just social media channels. The pro plan for $16.60 a month gives you the license for any other purpose, including commercials. If you just want the footage or the footage and the templates, there's the footage basic plan. That means just stock footage, no templates. And it's only in HD, only H.264, which means compressed format footage. It's not the highest quality. It's for creators who don't need 4K and they don't do a lot of color grading. The footage and templates plan adds templates into the mix, plus the footage can be up to 8K and you get the higher quality codecs. The footage and templates pro plan adds raw and log footage. And then there's the max bundles. The max social plan is $29.99 per month. You get one social channel per platform and you get music, sound effects, HD footage, and video templates. And you get creator licenses of two pieces of software, HitFilm for video editing and iMerge for photo editing. For $10 more per month, you can upgrade to the max pro plan, which includes everything in the max social, Plus, you get footage up to 8K in RAW and LOG, and you get pro licenses of HitFilm and iMerge. And then they have the Teams and Enterprise plans, which are for bigger organizations. And by the way, if you are already subscribed to Artlist and you want to upgrade to the Max plan, then you can do that just by paying the difference in cost. You don't have to get a whole new plan. It's a bit complicated, so I'll just tell you my preferred plan. I prefer the Max Pro plan. That's what I'm using now, and it's got everything I need. So that's how I use Artlist for my own filmmaking. I pretty much just always have a browser tab open in the background as I'm editing. And anytime I need a piece of music or a sound effect or some stock footage, I just jump over to Artlist, I search for it, I grab it, download it, and I have it right there. And that's what's really useful about it for me. So once again, I wanna thank Artlist for sponsoring this video. I wanna thank you for watching. Please click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you know as soon as I post my next video. I'll see you next time.